Photonics engineering, the science of controlling light, has a tremendous impact on our modern life. It is at the core of many tools used every day, telecommunications, CD, DVD players, barcode scanners, surgery and laser guides for construction are just a few examples. All of these applications have one thing in common. They are all based on the use of semiconductor lasers, one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century and one of the building blocks of the science of photonics engineering. Today, DTU Photonic is one of the few research departments in the world dealing with all areas of photonics engineering. We are around 200 researchers divided into 15 groups working to improve and develop the generation, transmission, processing and detection of light. Our research is organised into four clusters. Communications Technologies Here we work to develop, improve or increase the coding, routing, data rate and wireless optical connections in optical communication systems. The goal of the research is to deal with the ever-growing demand in telecommunication networks. Whereas electronics has a hard time keeping up with a bandwidth larger than 100 gigabytes per second, all optical devices can carry more than a thousand times more information on a single wavelength. In the Dynamic Photonics cluster, researchers work on non-linear effects in fibre optics and devices, ultra-fast laser pulses and light in the terahertz and infrared part of the spectrum. Here we try to combine the theoretical understanding and experimental aspects of what could be called the shortest event ever created by humans. By using these technologies, we can analyse food or tissues using spectroscopy and create biosensors to sense DNA. One of the world's biggest challenges in the near future is the drastic reduction of our energy consumption. The old glowing electric bulb was using energy for both illumination and heat. With the new technologies, such as the light-emitting diodes, the energy is only used to emit and control light the precise way we want it. This is part of the research in the light sources and industrial sensors cluster, where much work is also done on optical sensors and micro-materials that have many applications such as monitoring and analysis of cardiovascular disease. As a natural consequence of the development of nanotechnology, the nanophotonics cluster has emerged. Here, researchers study how light interacts with materials at the most fundamental level. An understanding that paves the way to light flowing as slowly as syrup on nanometer crystals or developing the future's supercomputers based on quantum computing with light. DTU Photonic, we make the future a little brighter. If you want to know more about DTU Photonic, please feel welcome to contact us.